In this Frederick Knowledge video, we're going to go over how to grant access to your account to other individuals. We call this adding an admin. We will also go over preferences. Preferences are how and what Frederick communicates to you and your admins. So let's get started. Granting access to your account to other managers or admins is extremely easy, whether it's a single location or multiple location. Uh, but what you need to understand is, and what hangs people up sometimes, is that you have to be in the master admin account, the account that originally created your Frederick account. Uh, you have to be in that login to be able to add other managers and admins. Uh, so once you're in that master account, up in the right hand corner under the name, you'll see some choices here. Uh, you want to go to account and billing. Now, if you're in the master account, you will see this uh, ability to add admins to any uh, store that you want. Uh, just by popping an email address uh, in this uh, open space here, this bar, and hitting add. Uh, we see that a lot of times a manager that has been on board since the beginning was added when the account was originally created will go to their account and try to uh, add somebody and won't be able to and won't understand that they need to be in the master account. So if they go to their account, it looks like this. They see all their locations uh, that they're in charge of, whether it's one or multiples, but they will not have the ability to add that email address to invite somebody to become an admin. So if, somebody, if you're in this and you go here, that just means you're not in the master account. So you need to make sure that you're in the master account. And you would simply come in and, like I said, add the email address, click add, and it would send an invite to that, uh, that person to become an admin for whatever location you want them to be. Uh, if you're a single uh, location owner, then they would just show up as one here and you would add that person. Multiples may want to just have uh, a general manager that they add to every one of these. Um, and then they have single managers of each store that would only be granted access to one at a time. Uh, so it's completely up to you, your choice on who you add and, and how many you add and who gets access to what. Now that you've added the email address or addresses, and as you can see here, each time you add an email address, the box pops open again to add another one. You can put as many in as you'd like to have access to uh, as many different stores as you'd like. Uh, but once that's done, Frederick will send an email to that person indicating that they've been granted access to your account. Um, and once they get that email, the first time they get it, uh, all they need to do is hit Get Started Now and fill out a, a real quick form, uh, name, email address, some other information. And that email address um, matches the one they've been invited on. Now they have access to your account. And each time you send them an event invite for another store, they don't have to fill this out. They'll simply be... Uh, have availability to to look at that store under their dashboard drop down. One of the very unique things about Frederick is that each person that is an admin of an account can be communicated to from Frederick in the desired way that they wish to be communicated with. Uh, we call these preferences. Uh, so once again, when you're in your dashboard under, under the right-hand corner here, uh, you'll see My Preferences. And each person that has access to this account will have their own preferences. So if you're the master admin, you have preferences to all the stores you have access to. And if you've invited a manager to be uh, admin of a single location or multiple locations, they will have their own preferences as well. Uh, so as an owner of an account, maybe you have five stores you're looking at, your choices to, of things to receive from Frederick would include a weekly digest, monthly digest, a daily feedback report on what people are saying about you, how they're scoring you, uh, alerts for promoter scores, passive and detractor scores, uh, lead alerts, appointments, and so on and so forth, and how you want those communicated with you as far as booking alerts, whether you want to be texted or emailed. Now, as an owner of multiple stores, maybe you only want to get uh, the monthly digest, you don't want to get a, a weekly on every store, so you would simply unclick the things you don't want to get. Maybe you only want to get a detractor score when someone says something bad about one of your stores, um, so on and so forth. Um, as a general manager, maybe you need to get all of these things. Um, as an individual manager of a store, 
Uh, maybe you need to get just the appointment alert so you can handle those appointment alerts. So each person would have their own preferences as to what they receive and how they receive it. Um, so that is how you set up preferences and those are uh, one of the, once again one of the very unique and great things about Frederick.